Hey everybody, welcome back to the first episode of our flower farming course. My name is Claudette. And I'm Jeff. And we own a UPIC flower farm in Zone 7B, Long Island, New York. So this is our first episode and we want to get into the first thing that a lot of flower farmers have issues with and that is overcoming fear. Fear is a big stopper in anything, any business that you start. When we talked about this course together, this is the very first thing that came up because it's what went through our heads, you know, that first, that first fateful day where we became flower farmers and all these fears rushed in, all these issues rushed in. And that's what we had to overcome first before we did anything else about the business. This is true, even before looking into flowers. So when we had the opportunity to do this and um, the farmer gave us the opportunity, the first thing I said to my husband was like, I can't do that. There's no way that I can have a flower farm. We live an hour away, we have three kids, how are we possibly gonna do this? So I was so fearful that I didn't even think it would be a possibility. So my voice of reason over here talked you know, me into doing it. So what did you, what did you say? I don't... Well, so I mean, it came down to just starting, starting small and just and following your passion. So, you know, moments before this offer happened for the farm, <laughs> Hold on. the dog is scratching you. the door. In, in any project we've ever done in our lives, there's um, the excitement of having the chance to do it, then the fear sets in, right? Uh, it starts warning you about all the potential problems <laughs> there can be and all the issues that are going to happen and how it's all going to implode the second you touch it. So we just had a really, you know, frank and earnest chat in the car on the way home from our farm, our future farm. And we talked about how we can just start small and mm -hmm. learn as we go, but also to get guidance. And that's something that Claudette's really good at, to find a guide or a mentor to get her from where she was to where she wants to be. So it was just a rational, logical conversation to combat the, the voice that's yelling and screaming at you not to do it, yeah. to, to run away. And that's something, you know, and, sometimes it's right, but not always. <laughs> and I think after he said that to me and I was alone by myself, I was thinking, well, can I say no to this? And I said, no, I, I really can't say no to this. Even though the fear was like, I can't do this. And then I said, well, if I let this go, can I really let this go? And I was like, no, I really can't let this go. I really love this too much. So if this is something that you're passionate about, you should definitely go for it. But you should go for it in a structured way that we're gonna be teaching the next couple episodes and breaking down each one of these. So there's the financial fear, the fear of failure, and the lack of knowledge. So the first thing I did once I knew that I wanted to do this was like Jeff said, I wanted to get a mentor, but I started researching myself, all the soil and the flowers and everything like that. And we're gonna break that down for you in the next episode of this. But I just want to tell you, those really are the three stoppers, are the fear, the lack of knowledge, and the financial concerns. And all of that can be solved for if you make a list. It's not, you know, it's interesting if you have a list that says, start and run a flower farm that's pretty intimidating because right. that's that's pretty general but once we broke it down the 10 little parts each one looked a little more achievable right and attainable and once that happened the flower farm happened mm -hmm. the problem is most people look at this as one giant mountain to climb whereas in most cases it's a bunch of little climbs that lead to the top that's the problem uh, most people face mm -hmm. and we had the same issue for a moment there until we in a sober manner sat down and listed what had to happen mm -hmm. in order and we're gonna put them all in order in the next episode this is time management everything so we're gonna break it down for you so we're gonna be there to help you on each one of these but we just wanted to start by saying this because you might still be very fearful and not know what to do next so we wanted to give you some encouragement that this is normal this is how it starts for most people they're excited and then that fear sets in and then they stop so we don't want you to stop, we want you to take the next step with us. So that's exactly what the next episode is gonna be about. So, homework for today is to write down the things that you are fearful of. Um, I want you to comment below so that we can see what you're fearful of, so we can even put it into some of the courses. So that's what I want you guys to do. And if it makes you feel any better, I mean, this is a story about us. We were looking at a three acre plot, which is overgrown with basically weeds that were trees and we've never really touched or picked up a piece of farm equipment, right? And that's what we're looking at day one, and that's what we we're staring down the barrel of, and that's what we came home to thinking about. But in the <laughs> end, uh, fate had it that our farmer friends would help us conquer some of that giant overgrowth, 
and we would do some machine rentals to get through some of the basic steps and filling these giant holes so people can come to the property. And that is, you know, it looked horrible at first, really, it did not look good. And we had no real experience in doing this. But in the end, every little step solved for every major milestone we achieved. So it right. really did work out. Yeah, we took each step at a time, and it's true. Like, it looks, it was very intimidating. Like, how are you going <laughs> to till up? And the grass was like, the grass was like three feet tall. It hadn't been worked on in like decades. So, um, so yeah, so, so the next episode is going to lead from there. The next step now that you're writing down those fears, really the first thing that you're going to do. So we will see you in the next episode. And we're excited to share the first steps after overcoming the fear. We'll see you guys soon. See you soon.